Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So Cancer, I'm checking into your weekend energies, okay? We're going to see what's coming towards you in the next 48. Um, this reading may not resonate with all of you, okay? Ugh. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're kidding. Here they come, Cancer. Ooh. And I knew this one would come out too, you guys. Um... Somebody here is about to feel very embarrassed or very hurt, okay? Um, yeah, the, you've got someone from your past coming back that really betrayed you and lied to you before. Um, and you're going to be like, man, they're back. Really? They're back? Okay. <laughs> you may feel like this person is coming back in to take advantage of you again as well. Because I see you with the flowers here. I feel like... You um, have a lot of abundance, okay? And you feel like the, this person may be coming back in um, because of your abundance. It's like, you know what? They didn't treat you right before. They lied to you. They betrayed you. They really disappointed you and let you down, all right? Maybe they didn't think that you were worthy um, of anything, okay? And now all of a sudden, they, you're going to be like, all of a sudden, you want to come back in? Is it because of my abundance? I feel like you're you're gonna tell the truth to this person. You're about to open up and it's gonna it's gonna hit them really hard. <laughs> okay, Cancer. When I was younger in high school, this was years and years ago, in high school, um I wore a dress for the first time, okay? And it was pretty. I looked really nice. But I wore these little shoes that were like these little slip-on shoes. They're these little heels. And I was walking into the school cafeteria, and it was packed. And I, I was in love with this, this guy named Dan in school, okay? The captain of the wrestling team. And uh, he was on the far other side of the of the cafeteria and and i went down this ramp and my shoe like slipped out from underneath me and i'm telling you those little slip-on shoes that one flew over everybody and hit this guy smack dab in the middle of the head that the guy that i was in love with okay the most embarrassing moment of my life all right <laughs> i was like mortified okay but it hit him really hard like it hit him really hard out of the blue <laughs> the flying shoe so yeah this is gonna hurt this person i feel like you're gonna you're gonna pick up that mic cancer and drop or um speak your piece and then drop the mic um and they're about to have um you know i want to say it's a rude awakening right uh yeah you're gonna be like hey well you didn't you didn't give me anything before you didn't believe in me before you lied to me you deceived me and now all of a sudden you want to come back um they may even i i wanted to say you want to come back for my flower okay so you may think that this person wants to use you um they may be coming back in like showing some passion you know and you're going to, oh boy, you're going to unleash everything on this person. I'm telling you, they are not expecting this either. <laughs> and it's going to hit them in the head really hard, Cancer. Okay, this is going to hurt them. But you're speaking your truth. Um, yeah. Oh, this is going to burn. I feel like, Cancer, you're going to burn this person. Yep, a spiritual warfare. Yeah. Clarify spiritual warfare. What is this all about for cancer? This person could have sent you some really bad energy too, and you may be picking up on that intuitively. I keep getting how to weld a tree. Cancer, you know what? You're going to get spiritual help with this. That's the feeling that I'm getting. This keeps ending up on the bottom of the deck. Um, I used to be a welder, and I welded... Um, life-size trees for an attraction in the Dells, okay? They're absolutely beautiful. Um, and I did it pretty much one-handed because I was in a bucket holding one branch and welding with the other hand, okay? It was a huge feat. But the I told my boss, they're like, how do you do what you do, right? Because I can weld, I can paint, I can, I can build um, stone walls that are... Um, 
facades but look look real they're like how do you do this i can paint a door to make it look like an old wooden door it's cool the things that i do um and i told them because i can channel my father was a welder you know so he was with me while i was doing that job giving me pointers how do you bend the metal what is it going to look like i mean you know we channel out here we're intuitive so I feel like with the spirit, spiritual warfare out here um, and this being, uh, being able to channel, I feel like the spirit's going to be with you this whole time. This, it, all, it almost feels like judgment. They're going to be all around you watching what goes down. So, I mean, I would say give this person the truth and the truth is going to hurt them. Um, but be careful how you speak it. Like... Um, don't engage in any arguments. Don't like scream or yell at them. You know what I mean? Try to handle this um, using all of the lessons that you've learned from the past, okay? Uh, because you don't want to accrue any karma in speaking your truth in this moment. You know what I mean? And you very well could. Um, because seriously, the the way you go off on this person it it literally they're not expecting it and it hits them so hard um but i feel like this is kind of like spirit telling you you know we're going to be around you we're going to be watching the situation so be careful how you handle it cancer okay yeah <laughs> the spirit's like don't hurt this person so much that you um you accrue any karma any karmic debt from this Okay, but yeah, this is the moment of truth for you, Cancer, and they are not expecting it at all. Um, definitely someone from your past who has betrayed you. Yeah, but the divine is like, be careful, right? Be careful. Maybe there's some things that you shouldn't say, okay? Because the divine is trying to get you to move on with a victory, and, and in order to get in this chariot and move forward, they don't want you to, you've already paid your karmic debt. Don't accrue more. So I feel like they, they know that you're getting ready to speak your truth, but there may be some things that you may need to hold back, you know, um, just to play it safe. Okay, because <laughs> I'm, I'm literally seeing you just unleashing everything on this person and it hitting them so hard. Um, that it almost like, it, it's almost like at the, in the moment you have a chance to make this person hurt the way they hurt you. But the divine is like, remember though, remember the lessons you've learned. Remember the lessons you learned. You have a chance to speak your truth, but do it in a way so that you can still have a victory and move forward. Okay. Otherwise, um, you're, you could be blocking yourself with additional karma, you know? Yeah, they want you to, they want you to handle this in, a, in sort of a loving, spiritual way, okay? And then walk away from this person, right? Because they really, truly are a player, a liar, and they may be coming in for your flower and your abundance, okay? Um, yeah, and this is somebody who thinks they're, it's almost like they're really sure of themselves, Cancer. Okay, they think you're a sure thing. This is somebody who could be very good looking, um, very charismatic. This to me is the best communicator in the deck because they're, they're a real smooth talker. Okay, and they're very sure of themselves. This is somebody who is used to getting everything that they want here because they go after what they want. Okay, so, um, but in all actuality, though, this person is a player. They're coming in for your flower and your abundance. Okay, <laughs> it's, I'm just saying flower because it says flowers here, all right? Um, but yeah, Cancer, um, they're not expecting this. They really do think you're a sure thing here. And this is somebody who left you out in the cold, betrayed you, trash-talked you behind your back, like... This person's bad news, man. So you definitely have a lot to say because this person caused you a great deal of pain. And not just um, with the situation, but they kept trying to hurt you behind your back by talking smack about you. 
okay um even though you know you were you could have been in a in a horrible position here you know it's almost like they wanted to kick you while you were down okay they wanted to kick you while you were down um yeah, and then they turn their back on you, Cancer, and went after other options. This person's toxic. The divine wants you to um, move away from this person. Some of you could even be making a house move or a location change, right? I feel like you're. this is the toad that you're leaving behind. This is a toxic individual. I'm really sensing that this is a karmic masculine here, okay? Like, for real, because they... They just, um, they didn't stop. They were relentless. They did whatever they wanted to do, thinking they could get away with it, going at, chasing anything with legs, right? A lot of other options here. Um, after betraying you and continuing to betray you behind your back, the divine's like, just move on peacefully. That's, that's, I feel like that's the message. Speak your truth, but try to retain some kind of peace. Okay, they don't want you to accrue any more karma. You can't drag that with you into your new cycle, your new life. And the divine wants you to have a victory because you've worked for it, Cancer, and you deserve this. Okay, so yeah, they can they already know you're about to confront somebody here. <laughs> And you're about to unleash your wrath onto them, okay? You have the choice of um, trying to make them hurt the way they hurt you or speaking your truth and moving past it in peace. You have a choice of how you handle yourself in this, okay? So the divine wants you to be mindful. They want you to remember who you are and all that you have become, okay? Yeah, but this person is, they are toxic. I feel it's a, it's a karmic masculine who hasn't learned anything. They really haven't. They're just coming back in, Cancer, to take advantage of you. Um, yeah, we had the moon here. What you don't know, I feel like this is hidden from you. What you don't know, Cancer, is, man, this person's going to be heartbroken. Maybe not now. But after this communication, I feel like that's when um, this person learns their lesson. Okay, they really truly are going to feel um, the way they made you feel. Heartbroken, okay? Because honestly, like I said, this is a person who thinks that they can get whatever they want. They think you're a sure thing, okay? And, um, and you're not. You're, you actually plan already on moving on. All right, so um, yeah, this is really going to hurt them. It's going to hurt their ego. Really, it's going to hurt their ego. Yeah, they think pretty highly of themselves. I just saw the six of, of wands on the bottom of the deck. Um, they do. They, they think that this is going to be easy, okay? But this is probably going to, um, this is going to hit them hard. I'm telling you, it's probably going to be the most difficult conversation because they'll get like maybe a few words in and you're going to like open up on this person. Yeah, they will eventually see you from a new perspective now. See, like I said, um, they think you're a sure thing, but you're not. You're not. And they, you will be teaching this person a lesson for whoever this is for this weekend. This is the next 48, okay? So yeah, here they come, Cancer, but we don't know what's in that cup. Um, they, they may be coming in to apologize, but I feel like it's gonna be a fake apology. And you're gonna feel that too. You're gonna be like the nerve, you know what I mean? I, there's something about this person's arrogance that sets you off. Like, you really want to go off on them, but the divine is like, just hold back a little. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because <laughs> they want you to be able to move on in peace. All right, so what else can you show me for cancer? What else is going on for my darling cancers? You could be dealing with the Pisces. We've got heavy Pisces out here. You could be dealing with the cancer, Capricorn energy, 
Um, yeah, a lot of fire and a lot of swords out here, Cancer. Um, you know, that passion um, and the swords. This person is very cutting and cold. You know, I'm not seeing that they have they have a whole lot of love for you. Um, I'm only seeing them bringing really a wand to this and their arrogance and um, and their ego. The this cup here, I don't think there's anything in it. Okay. Yeah, they just they're coming across as like very cold inside. All right, but putting on some kind of act. All right, so what can you show me here? What else is going on for Cancer in the next 48? This weekend, weekend energies. Um, yeah, you know, after you have this conversation, I feel like this person's going to, they're going to want to isolate themselves. They're going to be walking away from everyone. I feel like, too, when um, if they were with other people or anybody else, those people may even be celebrating that um, they can't get back together with you. Yeah, you're taking control back of your life here, Cancer. I feel like this person may even be laughed at after this um, conversation. Okay? They may be... Um, yeah, they may be turned into a, some kind of joke because they, they actually, they blew it. They turned their back on you. You gave them nothing but love. You were very loving. Um, they could have had the Ten of Cups with you. This is an ultimate dream life, okay? This is destiny here. And I feel like, um, yeah, they're, they're losing you in one conversation here. Yep. I feel like this person is expecting you to be loving. They're expecting you to be gentle with them, you know, kind of um, easily fall back into their arms, but that's not going to happen. We picked up on this yesterday too, you guys. So they're going to be in a lot of regret after this. You, you definitely teach this person a, a very harsh lesson here. Okay? Don't underestimate cancer. Don't come towards cancer wanting to use cancer. <laughs> okay, that's not going to fly anymore. Yeah, I feel like um, they're putting their sword down here, cancer. They're, I feel like this person, they, they're going to know they're defeated. All they're going to be able to do maybe in the future is watch you, spy on you, see what you're doing in your life. But um, I'm feeling a lot of defeat here. Like, they're not going to know what to say. They're not. And, and they will actually be experiencing the same kind of pain that they gave you. Okay? No matter, no matter how you handle it. See, the divine is saying it's, it's not necessary to yell and scream and go off on this person. All you have to do is speak your truth. You know, because either way, they're going to feel that pain. Okay? Okay? Yeah, and I feel like um, they're going to feel it so intensely. It's almost like they're going to know that you were the one for them. Yeah, look, and they're planning on um, everything coming together perfectly for this person, Cancer, but you actually end up giving them the tower. You deliver this tower, okay, during this conversation. I'm telling you, you teach this person a massive lesson. They see now how strong you are. They, they're going to see that you've got your boundaries up and you're not backing down. Okay? And that things are, you've changed and your whole world is about to change. And so is theirs. I feel like you completely just ruin this person's ego. <laughs> you do. You cause a, ma a major ego death. You give them a tower. Um, yeah, well, you know, they're not expecting this from you. They're expecting to easily get you back. And that's not what's happening. It's the complete opposite. So, yeah, Cancer, they're definitely going to see you from a whole new perspective now. And I feel like after this, they're going to be too intimidated to come back around. Okay? Okay. 
because you are not going to budge and this is what this is what makes this wheel start turning for you okay um, you're standing up for yourself cancer you're loving yourself you're putting yourself first here and you're regaining control of the whole situation and you're activating um, the portal for yourself. You're like activating um, this wheel to turn in your favor now after this. I'm telling you, you've got the power now. You do. You've got the power and the control in the situation um, just by speaking your truth. Okay? Yeah, Cancer Star energy, man. But I feel like the divinest keeps, they keep saying do it peacefully, Cancer. I can't stress that enough. Do it peacefully, okay? Because you don't want to accrue any karma for yourself moving into this new life of yours. Um, let's get your advice, my darlings. And then, you guys, I am going to take this into the extended... Um, I just want to see what's coming for you after this because you know you're leaving you're leaving this person behind some of you could be moving away right this wheel of fortune starts to turn for you so let's look in your extended and see all the good things that are coming towards you in the future okay because yeah here comes the new and the scales are about to be balanced for you everything is going to be balanced out um, if you've had financial struggles in the past, I feel like you're going to be very abundant. If people haven't loved you the right way, now expect to be loved by somebody who knows how. Okay? Um, your peace, right? This is you, once again, keeping that peace. Um, speaking your truth, yes. But, it, you know... Um, the divine is just trying to tell you to be careful how you handle this, okay? <laughs> yeah, you're going to be building and growing. But yeah, you're about to get justice. I, you haven't seen justice from how this person hurt you before, but them just showing up to try to get you back, I feel like that's enough justice for you. That's all you're going to need to speak your truth, and then you're going to be able to release this and move forward, okay? And they're showing up at your house, maybe. So, and it's almost time for this cancer. Okay, I feel like for someone, this is happening this weekend. This person's just going to show up at your door. All right. And it's time for this to pop off. I'm telling you, it's time for all of this to go down. Um, yeah, chaos and conflict. Yeah, watch out. Watch out, cancer. Watch out so you don't cause a lot of chaos and conflict because what you create in this in this conversation is the karma that you'll carry later, okay? The karma that you'll have to pay later. Just, just be careful not to make it too chaotic. Um, watch out for conflict here. The divine keeps putting this in your reading, guys, okay? All right, so yeah, they want you to be careful because they want you to have a, a life of peace. Sorry, Cancer. Yeah, and this is them telling you to just release this. Speak your truth, yes, but then release it peacefully and move forward, okay? This is you. This is like the fool card in this deck, you taking a leap of faith into your new beginning, okay? But um, yeah, this needs to be released peacefully, okay? Give me one more for cancer. Yeah. Because you know what? Um, this is that moment. This is that moment um, where you, you get to release this person and end this cycle and into the land of milk and honey you go. <laughs> okay? This is what's coming for you in the future. The Ten of Cups. All right? But it's kind of the way you handle this situation, and I can't stress this enough, the way you handle this and yourself in this, in this communication, that's, I mean, I, I feel like, I feel like you're, you're kind of stuck here, right, in between the past and the future. Um, the way you handle this is going to mean the difference 
um, in your new cycle, okay? If you handle this peacefully and correctly, speaking nothing but the truth and then releasing, you'll be able to go to your land of milk and honey. If not, if something goes haywire, Cancer, and you completely fly off the handle and really just want to hurt this person, you're going to be stuck. So, I mean, this is kind of a warning for you, my darlings. You have a chance at ultimate happiness, or you can get held back because of accruing karma during this communication. Be careful how you handle this talk, okay? Anyway, Cancer, I love you guys so, so much. Um, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. Guys, in Patreon, we're going to talk about all of these things that are coming to you. Every, all of these blessings that um, are on their way in your new life, okay? So, like I said, if you're interested, just follow the link to Patreon that's in the bottom of my description box, and I'll meet you over there. <laughs> so, anyway, I love you, Cancer. Like and subscribe to the channel if you like this vibe. And until next time, my darlings, take care of you and peace out.